building lives around scripture and truth. Here we go. Blast off! Hello and welcome to the Science Experiments with Dr. Quarantine. Yes, welcome. We are going to do a science experiment that you can do at home. Yes, you watching this video right now, you can do this with me. The only thing is just make sure that there is an adult with you. We just, we just want to make sure that you stay safe and okay. So please make sure you have an adult. All right, what you will need for this first experiment is a Coke can or water can or soda can or any kind of aluminum can that looks something like this. That's what you'll need. And then you'll need to put a little bit of water in there. Maybe like four or five tablespoons worth. Yeah, okay. Now that that is done, you will also need to make sure that you have a nice, very, oh, that is so cold. Oh, yes, a very cold bowl of water and ice, just like what I have here. Next, the last thing you'll need is a hot pan or maybe if you have an electric stove you can use that as well yeah okay and you also need tongs and always 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 use safety goggles mine are already fogged up from the sweat but we will use them later anyway okay all right so now that you've got your soda can or water can or any kind of can you have you are going to make sure it's filled with water like i said and you're going to turn on your hot plate here and you're going to put it on but remember what i say before you do the experiment you got to put on the goggles yes all right now that we have safety glasses on we want to make sure that you're again an adult is with you okay here we go you're going to take your can and hold it with your tongs and then you're going to put it on the hot pan or hot stove or any kind of like pancake griddle that would work too and make sure it's turned up all the way now we want this can and the water inside the can to get very very hot so we're gonna have to wait a little bit you will know it's ready when the water inside is boiling you'll hear it start to bubble up and there will be steam so we are going to stand here and wait for it to happen here we go Okay, our can is now steaming. You can see the steam rising from the can. So now it is ready. So again, make sure you have safety goggles. Very, very important. And now grab your tongs. Now you're gonna grab the tongs. Now with the tongs, you want to make sure that it's very easy to turn over because you're gonna do it real quick in action like that and turn the can upside down and put the coke can or swatter can or whatever kind of can you got into the very very cold water okay are you ready okay here we go okay make sure you have safety goggles again you do not want to hurt your eyes okay here we go do you have your safety glasses on just want to make sure you go you sure okay here we go all right, we're gonna bring it over just like this and real quick. Here we go. Boom! And just like that, the can implodes inside itself. Let's look at that again in instant replay. Okay, now that we have crushed this can, it's time for you to do it at home with an adult. Until next time for another experiment with Dr. Quarantine. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Psalms 34, 18.
the broken hearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit the Lord is close to the broken hearted the Psalms 34 18 yeah yeah Hey boys and girls, today we're going to be talking about Psalm 3418 and how the Lord is close to us when our hearts are breaking. So have your parents gone through a divorce? Has someone you loved passed away? Maybe you or someone you know is really sick? Are you fighting with a friend? Does the world seem like a really scary place? I may be describing you right now. You have experienced what it's like to have a broken heart, and in no doubt is your spirit crushed. You may even be questioning, why would God let something like this happen to me? Or God, why won't you make things like they were the way before? So when these questions come to mind, I want you to think about and read our verse. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He saves those who are crushed in spirit. When it seems like you have no one in the world who understands what you're going through, and even through your sadness, we have to cling on to the truth that God is bigger than any heartbreak. He wants us to call out to Him. He wants a relationship with us so badly. Ask God for help. Call to Him and He will answer you. He can and will get you through this. Rather than push God away, try God. Let Him comfort you and let Him bring rest to your soul. Let me pray for us. Arms out wide. Three, two, one. Father God, thank you for always reminding us that you are close to us, even when our hearts are breaking, that you are the answer to our crushed spirits, God. Let us remember to call out to you because you love us and you are always there for us, God. We love you with all our hearts and soul. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's game time with POW! Welcome to game time, everybody. This week's game is called Name That Flavor. Behind me, our contestants have jelly beans. They're going to be... They're going to be blindfolded, and they're going to guess what flavor jelly bean they have in front of them. As you can see, they're already pretty rowdy out here. So we're just gonna give them four flavors of jelly beans to choose from. Tutti Frutti, Lime, Watermelon, and Blueberry. At home, you can make this game harder if you want to, and add more flavors, or you can make it easier and do less flavors. As you can see, my contestants can't. The first flavor of jelly bean is, let's do it. All right, 
contestants, find your jelly beans and taste them. Guess which one they have. A little bit more in front of you, Miss Paula. Right on, there, there you go. All right, go ahead and eat your jelly bean. Write your answer, what you think the guess is. All right, all of our contestants have made a guess. Let's see what they've guessed. Miss Paula, what is your guess? She says, lemon. That is incorrect. Miss Amy, what do you say? Lime slush? We'll accept it. That's correct. Miss Sarah Beth, what do you say? Cotton candy. No, that is incorrect. Sorry. And Miss Rhonda, what's your guess? Lime. That's right. Good job, contestants. It's time for round two. The flavor for round two is... Let's do it. When you think you know what the answer is, go ahead and make your guess. have written their answers. This time we're going to reveal our answers all at the same time on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. We've got lemon again, bubblegum, blueberry, muffin, and blueberry. Points for Miss Rhonda and Miss Sarah Beth. Way to go, you guys. It's time for round three. The flavor for round three is... Here we go. All right, contestants, go ahead and try that jelly bean. It's still right in front of you, Miss Paula. Do you think you know what it is? Name that flavor. We're all showing our answers again in three, two, one. We've got lemon again. No, that's incorrect. Miss Amy says Fruit Loops. We'll give that a half point. We've got pep. So, hey, uh, no, not the correct answer. Right. And Miss Rhonda's guess is bubblegum. No, that is incorrect. The correct answer was tutti fruity. All right, let's do our last one. Our last flavor is, here we go. All right, contestants, it's time to name that flavor. Miss Paula, you can eat your jelly bean. Yes, it's still right in front of you. Yep. <laughs> Miss Paula, I'll give you a hint. The answer is not lemon. All right, contestants, reveal your answers in three, two, one. We've got watermelon, watermelon, applesauce, and watermelon. Great job, contestants. That means that Miss Rhonda wins our game with three points. Way to go, Miss Rhonda! <laughs> now it's time for you guys to try this at home. Pow out! <laughs> Your challenge this week is the balloon challenge. What you will need is a few balloons and a few small pieces of paper. We want to encourage you to write down on these small pieces of paper things that are heavy on your heart right now. Maybe those things are you made a bad grade and you're scared to tell your parents or your friend is being really mean to you at school or maybe one of your parents is sick and you're scared. Next, what you're going to do is get a balloon and blow it up like this. Take what is bothering you and stick it inside of the balloon. Once it's in there, blow it up a little bit more. Tie it up. Next, you want to find a fun way to crush this balloon and as, use it as a symbol, as Jesus crushing your worries. 
And while you do it, I encourage you to say, I trust you, Jesus. And when you do this, let all your worries go, just like this. Didn't that feel so good? Giving away all your worries to Jesus. He is always there for us. Now go, blast off, take on our challenge, memorize the verse, and play the game. Have a great week.